Welcome to Kayak DIY. Hey folks, looks like we have some new kayaks on the way. The company Uncharted Watercraft sent us three boxes with two new kayaks. That's right, there's actually kayaks in these boxes. The company Uncharted Watercraft makes the Scorpion model and the Outbound GT model. In this video, we're only going to go over the Scorpion model, so if you wish to see the Outbound model, which is their fishing model, click in the top right hand corner. Basically, these kayaks roll like luggage and they're meant to be ultra portable. Everything you need is inside this main hull of the Scorpion model. You got two pontoons and you got an aluminum frame that connected together. You got wheels and you even have a strap because yes, you can carry this with a strap. This kayak will fit pretty much anywhere, even in your back seat of your car. After getting the two new kayaks, the wife and I couldn't wait to test them out. Pretty crazy. We got a kayak inside the truck. So setting it up is pretty easy and intuitive. You have two frame pieces and two pontoons. This frame piece goes in between the two pontoons in the front and this wishbone piece only fits in one way and it fits between the main body and the pontoons and all locks in with pins. The other cool thing about this kayak is it doubles as a cooler. Um, it also has a bottle opener here, I noticed. Hey now, don't be judging. Kayak reviewing can be very difficult work. So on the Uncharted Watercraft Scorpion model, the weight capacity is 250 pounds. We put 210 pounds of uh, weight on this kayak, and I will say, I was able to paddle it better than I thought, but paddling performance did suffer. Uh, the hull is only 7.75 feet long, and so you do have some issues with tracking. Here I have my feet kind of dangling down, which is something I like about these uh, particular kayaks. You can kind of use them as a kick boat and turn yourself while fishing. Uh, here we are paddling kind of buzzing around the area, getting a feel for it. And uh, I actually actually found it pretty easy also to sit side saddle on the kayak, which means sitting with your legs over on one side. Uh, it was pretty stable when I did that, mainly because the majority of your weight is still centered on the the hull of the kayak. Anytime you start shifting the majority of your weight off center, that's when you start having stability issues. For the most part, the general rule is keep your head in the center of the boat and you aren't going to have any flipping issues. So let's uh, see what kind of stability we have. Mind you, I have 210 pounds of weight on this kayak and it's rated for 250 pounds. Okay, so we decided to do a stability test. The front of the kayak is 36 inches wide while the back portion of the kayak is 29 inches wide. I have 210 pounds on the kayak and it's rated for 250 pounds. The paddling performance with 210 pounds on the kayak, it was, you know, not the best of what I think it could be compared to other kayaks its size. Uh, so I would recommend uh, paddler and gear weight to be less than that. Uh, we'll discuss that a little bit more here. Here I'm on my knees trying to paddle and I wasn't too successful with that and standing up I wasn't too successful with that. Now we put uh, someone a little bit more lightweight like my wife on the kayak. My wife is 5 foot 10 inches and between her and the gear on the kayak it came in probably pretty close to that 150 mark, um, 150 pounds. Uh, the paddling performance was much better with that scenario. So I would say um, in terms of other kayaks its size, when you had a paddler and gear weight of around 150 pounds, this kayak was able to basically paddle and perform very similar to other kayaks its size.
here. My wife is kind of just playing around with it. Um, getting her, this is like her first time on the kayak. She's kind of getting a feel for the stability of it. And she decided very quickly that she wanted to see if she could try standing up on it since she knew that I ended up falling off. My wife is not necessarily someone that is highly skilled at, you know, balancing. Uh, here you can see she almost <laughs> fell off already. Um, her right foot is standing pretty much on the side gunnel. Here she got a little more centered and was able to keep a pretty good balance and paddle the, the craft around. The kayak was not designed for stand-up um, paddling. It just it, it wasn't designed for it. But this kind of acts as a little bit of a testament to the stability and gives you an idea of what you can expect. Uh, I actually have a very good sense of balance um, to an extent. Um, and I was not able to stand just based on my weight, I think, alone. So in this scenario, we have 150 pounds of weight or less on the kayak. And my wife is 5 foot 10 inches. Here, my wife decided to try some fishing from the kayak. Uh, we pretty much um, were using some bait fish and... Well, it kind of looks almost like we caught more bait fish. <laughs> they weren't the biggest of fish. But it was still fun nonetheless. I've never had a bad day of fishing. So we decided to let this little guy go, and hopefully he brought back some bigger buddies. Here's a look at the dimensions of the kayak. And here's another look at the height of the kayak. This kayak being 12 inches, you can actually stick it right underneath the bed. Um, for easy storage. It fits into most closets, it fits in the back seat of a car, in a trunk of a car, even compact cars. Here's a look at some of the specs of the kayak and what comes with it, how it's rigged. So the wife and I had a blast playing around with these uncharted watercraft kayaks. They're ultra portable, they don't require any expensive roof racks for your car, you just throw them inside the car and you go. Here's some selection of videos to get you more information on Uncharted Watercraft products.